Hi, I'm Isabella. I'm a technical writer at Distic Controls. In this video, I will introduce you to the Distic Controls new ECB BACnet and ECL LawnWorks 50 series controllers equipped with an integrated LCD operator interface, which provides convenient access to important system data in real time. The easy to use jog dial turn and select button is operated by turning it between your thumb and forefinger to highlight one of the many available options on the screen and by pressing it to select the highlighted option. The main screen displays all the available menu icons. Here at the bottom right, the green open lock symbol shows that the interface is currently unlocked. When the lock is read, then the controller interface is password protected and therefore a password is needed to unlock it. There are up to four levels of access passwords that can be set and this is done in the ECGFX program graphical programming interface. Now we'll select the points menu where a list of inputs, outputs, set points, and values are displayed. I will select to view a list of the hardware inputs. With the jog dial, we can easily and quickly scroll through a long list of points. The bell icons on the right of some of the points indicate that an alarm has been configured for that point. Notice how the supply air temp point has suddenly turned red? Well, this is to show that the point has just gone into alarm. If I select the row that is in alarm, a list of available actions is displayed. I can choose to override the value, set it to auto mode, or take it one step further by actually viewing the alarm details. And within the alarm details, I can even acknowledge the alarm. I'll return to my main menu, where you can see that the alarms icon is also red. This also indicates that there are some active alarms. I will access the menu to view the active alarms. Here is my alarm. I will click on it to go into the alarm details. And here too, I can acknowledge my alarm. Back to the main menu, we see that the alarms icon is no longer red. Therefore, there are no longer any active alarms. Back to the points menu, I will select a different type of point in the hardware outputs. I will select the supply fan, and I will choose to override the current fan status by setting it to off. The row color changes to purple. This indicates that the point is in override mode. I can also override a point by editing a value. For example, the outdoor air damper. I will select it, choose override, and here I can scroll to a new value or I can edit the value. If I scroll, I am simply increasing or decreasing the current value. If I edit the value, then I'm actually building a new number, one digit at a time, including decimals, negative sign, and even exponents. Now we see that there are two points in override. I'll return to my main menu again, where we see that the overrides icon is also purple, stating that there are some overrides. I will select the menu. Here I see my two points that are in override. I will select each point and set them to auto in order to remove the override. There are no longer any active overrides and the overrides icon is no longer purple. Then we have the schedules and calendars menu. This is used to view the status of the schedules and calendars. The favorites menu is used to view the controller's favorites that have been bookmarked and grouped in the ECGFX program. If I select this group, I can see all of the favorites pertaining to that group. Then we have the PID loops menu. This allows us to view, configure, and tune the controller's PID loop parameters and also see a graph of the PID loop's performance. The graph is shown on the right, and on the left we have a list of parameters that can be configured as needed. Notice how the PID response graph is reacting to the PID settings. We also have the weather menu which is used to view the current weather conditions and weather forecast. Then we have the settings menu, used to view and configure the many different controllers settings. For example, you can change the interface language, set the time, and set the different daylight saving time settings as well. Then we have the about menu. The about screen can be customized to show your company logo and contact information. This screen can be fully configured in the ECGFX program graphical programming interface. 
This summarizes the main functions and characteristics of the 50 series controllers with integrated LCD operator interface. Keep in mind that certain functionalities covered in this video are available only with certain controllers. You can refer to the related documentation on our website for more details. Thank you for watching and please refer to our website or contact your regional sales manager for further information.